So we're gonna make some dough balls. This is how we make our bait to catch carp. It's pretty simple. Probably cost a few bucks. So we got these big, just normal shredded wheat, little jar of peanut butter, some water in a bowl. And then this is just the gallon Ziploc bag we put it in. We're to use half of these shredded wheats on a previous dough ball batch. You guys ready to help? Mm -hmm. Let me open all these. So as you can see, just big, wow. big hunks of shredded wheat. Wow! Wow! Yes, no wonder they need a pump. Here, Junior, you can. It's all like these are like normal sized cereal things, but no, Junior, these are cereal. Hey, Grace. Can you grab my trash can? It'll help me in there. Mm -hmm. well, we only got one more bag. Oh, actually, grab a spoon, too. Is this spoon going to be like this thing where I'm like, this? This No. The spoon's just to scoop peanut butter out. Alright, I'm just set that there for now. Alright, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Alright, don't splash. Don't smush too hard and keep your hands covered the little crinklies, but just get your hands in there and mash up the wheat. Okay. Oh. Yep, just grab, yep, grab one chunk and just work down the chunk. You can just pinch one chunk, break her all up. Like this? Yep. Pretty much there's no right or wrong way to do it. You just don't want two bigger chunks in one area. Like, you know, these pieces. You just take these bigger pieces and try to work them down so they're just grain fibers. My hands are burning. <laughs> Looking at this for my gums for some reason. I can imagine getting poked. I'm already getting poked. All right. That should be close to good enough. I'll give it one final breakdown. Junior, you can open up the peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Okay. I know what to do. So that's so, just kind of what you're left with, a big bowl you? of so, crushed shredded wheat. I just Peanut thought butter. of some. Okay. So, well, Junior can do this. But no, this um, is, I'll, I'll, I'll mix this up because this is going to get really sticky here. Mm -hmm. So I want to pour I do two spoonfuls. Uh, maybe do a little bit more. Those aren't that great. All right, and then with this, you just <laughs> you eat the rest of it. Fish like it. People like it. But there's so many carp in the river right now, and they eat almost everything so you almost can't go wrong some people do some people make this they put kool-aid in it they put garlic in it they put all kinds of mixtures in their shredded wheat dough ball batch nope i'll do this but i keep it pretty simple you could just even do shredded wheat you don't even need the peanut butter but it adds just a little bit of tackiness to it, it stays on the hook a little bit better this is probably the most important step is um, the water mixture. There's no like, I don't have any real definite measurement. There's three and a half cups of water in there. 
But you just put it in. I like to cover it all. You know, you don't want it swamped in there, but enough to get it all pretty wet. We'll give this a try. So we're down to about one and a half cups. So there's two cups of water in there. So I got it pretty much all covered. There's some water. By the time you mix it all around. Yeah, that might even been too much water there. That's okay, we can smush up the wheat and drain it out. You almost want it to like a Play-Doh type of consistency. Oh, get mom her phone. So I think I put a little bit too much water in there. I'll go strain it out. We'll keep the viewers distracted. All right, great. So just stare straight to the camera. <laughs> I strained all that water out so it's not as goopy and I put just a little bit of flour in there to help solidify it a little bit. Is it me or does it look like squishy sand? <laughs> kind of. So that's about the right consistency. You want it pretty tacky, not too watery. Gonna mix that flour up in it so it hardens up a little. But essentially that's dough ball bait. So all that shredded wheat and peanut butter just turns into a putty-like mold. And it'll get harder as you set it in the fridge and you know, use it over and over, over, you know, as you use it over time. But then, you know, we just, we pull out little chunks, about like so, enough to cover a 5 watt circle hook. We push it into these patties. Later we'll go down to the river and catch some carp and I'll give you more in depth, but make a little patty, stick your hook in there, form it around the hook. It's just a ball of dough that sits on your hook. Carp come by, they like the smell of it. They eat it right up. So I think this is pretty well mixed. It's really tacky. You want it to do that to your fingers. You know when it's sticking to your fingers like that, it's pretty well good to go. We'll just roll up as much as we can. And really this will, dough ball last, it, it depends where we fish. In calmer waters it could last 20 minutes, half hour or more on your hook. Down by the dam where we fish the water's pretty strong. There's a good strong current. So it might last 5 to 10 minutes depending on how strong the water flow is. But um... Yeah, just pack it into a big ball. I squish it down flat for storage. And then Junior will open up this bag. <laughs> open up that gallon okay. Ziploc bag. So you just got a big, big dough ball, pat, dough ball patty to pull from. So just put it in here. Like that. Junior can zip it on up. And you got dough ball bait. This will last two, three, four trips. So it's not bad catching. I don't know, we could probably catch 10, 15, 20 or so or more in a day. 
If we well, ever... Oh. oh, go ahead. If you ever use this bay and you put it on one to go pole, that's the main pole. None of the other poles are going to go off. There's just going to be a little fish on them. But with this, you're going to have thousands of cards. Yeah. Yeah, when you put this on your hook, you better just focus on that one pole. Because it's going to get a lot of bites. Quick, easy way to rig up bait catch a bunch of 5, 10, 15 plus pound fish. You catch them as easy as you catch bluegills, so it's good for these guys. It's good for me, I like catching them, netting them. They're fun to bite around. They're good for catfish bait, carp are, so pull in a few carp to bring home, cut them up into chunks, and then you got catfish bait for at least half the season. And you bring home, you can bring home six, seven, eight carp, and that's your that's your catfish bait for the year. All right, I'm gonna go put this in the fridge, get my hands cleaned up, and then maybe later today or tomorrow or something, me and the boys will head back down to the river and probably just fish for carp. Is there No, definitely. All right, see you guys.